Daryl, thank you. Parent and student advocates around the boroughs are just wrapping their minds around the mayor's bombshell announcement today that the city's education department will toss the longstanding and controversial gifted and talented program, replacing it with an alternative. Let's get right to News 12's Phil Tate, who's outside PS 279 in Canarsie. Phil? Yeah, well, Sabrina, what's that saying? Out with the old, in with the new. Well, that's exactly what the mayor is doing in the 11th hour of his administration, as earlier today he unveiled a plan uh, uh, telling people that they're going to be getting rid of the gifted and talented program and will be phasing uh, in a new program called Brilliant NYC that he says will be accessible to all students. But not everyone is sold on the idea just yet. I'm a little tired of the mayor giving dog and pony shows where he makes a fancy press conference, he makes fancy claims, and there's no implementation. When you have, you claim to be giving a gifted program to everybody, in reality, you're probably giving it to nobody. Assembly member William Colton fired up as the mayor caused quite the stir on WNYC Today, announcing the end of an era of the Department of Education's gifted and talented program. We're going to be ending something that I think was a mistake all along, a single test for four-year-olds that determines so much of the future. But for the former teacher and elected official, he says the program expected to be phased out over the next five years actually works. We don't want to track children from an early age. What we want to do is we want to expand the gifted and talented program so that it can reach as many children as possible. The mayor saying the era of judging a four year old based on a single test is over. The new rollout of Brilliant NYC in 2022 will be available to 65,000 kindergartners compared to 2,500 kindergartners that the current gifted and talented model serves. I think he tossed a grenade into the room and walked away. What they're doing wrong in this approach, again, is they're assuming all kids are starting at the same place. And what they really should be doing is focusing on uh, preparing kids for for elementary school. Advocates of Place NYC say the mayor and the city are missing the mark. The Department of Education says all 800 elementary schools will offer the new model next fall, training 4,000 kindergarten teachers. You no, know, I think it was interesting that, um, you know, after eight years, he's waiting to the last, what, uh, three months to try to implement uh, a strategy that he won't be here to uh, oversee. And Phil, as this announcement stunned the city, how does the Department of Education plan to get the word out about it to make sure that families really know what's going on? Yeah, well, Sabrina, uh, the Department of Education says that conversations will be held in all 32 community uh, board districts across the city. And just another important thing to note for those already in this talented and gifted program, they will remain in those programs. Sabrina. Phil, thank you. Like